blessings. Cody Coyote here. Um, there's probably tons of opinions on the perfect hiking stick. I'm going to give you my opinion on my perfect hiking stick. This would be it here. Rule number one, it should be free. There's a lot of expensive carbon fiber, aluminum, fancy polished wood hiking sticks out there. But the most important thing for me is that it's free. When I'm heading places and I'm tired of carrying it or I need to leave it behind because now I need two hands because I'm out climbing up a steep face or something like that, I need to leave my stick behind. And uh, I do it all the time. So it needs to be free. Another thing um, is that it doesn't need to be too thick. I used to carry a big old fat oak stick. A lot of it had to do with protection uh, out in the wilderness if something came after me. But I'm really not worried about anything coming after me. Um, so it was just a burden to carry around. It was heavy. My arm would get tired. My hand would get tired from gripping such a thick stick. Uh, and if it's too thin, it's just going to bend and vibrate as you're walking. Every time you put it into the ground, vibrate your hand. So, you know, a decent thickness would be perfect. Lengthwise, here's my rule of thumb. I like to have it fit underneath my armpit. And I'll tell you why. The only time it should really be longer than that is if you're Merlin and you're doing magic. Or if you're making it for protection with a spear. And the reason why you would do a spear is because obviously... You don't want that spear anywhere around this area of your body, or even anywhere in your body. You want it above your head, to where the sharp part's up here. And even so, when you're coming down hills, and you put it out in front of you, it should still be higher than your eyeballs. So, if you're going to make a spear, you want a long spear. Hiking stick, however, the reason why I use them is for support. And I figure that's how most people would use them, is for support walking around. So I'm going to show you the idea behind it for me anyway. Heading up this steep hill, need a little bit of support getting up there because I'm winded. But plant that thing in the ground and I've got something to help me get up, you know, two steps. The deal is, is that it's not way up here. I'm not working with this big stick. You know, it's level with my face almost, my head. So I'm not like working around with this gigantic thing up here that I'm trying to haul up the hill with me. It's just easy plant up and that'll help me get up a couple big steps. So, same story coming down the hill. Um, but instead of having this big pole joust where I'm throwing it down there, coming down the hill, you know, this length here gives me, I'm holding it at the end, boom, plant it. And I got two good steps coming down any steep hill to keep, keep me from sliding down the hill. So it's a perfect length. For two big steps up a hill, two big steps down a hill. Fits right under here. It's easy to maneuver, throw the thing away if I want to. Um, a lot of times if I find a stick I really enjoy, I'll probably do it with this one. Which, um, again, I can't remember the wood. But uh, what I'll do here is I'll wrap some jute twine along with the paracord that I have here for the handle. Do some jute twine to help with fires. Also for things I need to tie up maybe that I want to leave behind without polluting the woods. Also put some trail marking tape on here as well and maybe some duct tape on top of the trail marking tape. That way I can you know mark if I need to find my way back somewhere, if I need someone to find me and also have that extra piece of tape. So sum it up real quick. About the same height of your armpit. Not too thick, not too thin. Made out of a hard wood. Um, and free foremost anyway that's it for now that's my opinion on what the perfect hiking stick is thanks so much for checking it out subscribe for more videos please like comment ask questions um, but don't troll as we Less. through this vast out of space we realize we're not the only ones in this place well